I shoot down the stars Collect them in jars I shoot for the moon I won't be home soon There's monsters at home The boat we're going out on today is a Stabby Craft 2050 Super Cab Probably one of the best long range game fishing tourists it's the big little boat. Can you smell that? The barrels are on and my ride's here, so let's go. The colors won't flow. There's something creeping beneath my sleeping. Polo Bay, about 80 metres of water. There's birds, there's dolphins, there's bait spraying all over the place. And uh, we hooked up on this fish and he took about 600 metres of line on 37 kilo in the first run. And now we are hooked up. Yeah, he's right under us. Okay, left, left, left and forward. Left and forward. Quick, 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 left and forward. Alright well, we're licking our wounds today, as you saw we were out fishing yesterday, hooked a beauty of a barrel and today, well everything started out beautifully, the, uh, the fish took the 80 wide, it's like the dream come true, 37 kilo line, we thought this is it, we've got this fish in the boat, emptied about 600 metres of line straight away and we knew it was going to be a good fish. After about half an hour fighting the fish, it started to charge the boat a lot and a couple of driver switches later and a bit of lack of communication, the fish actually charged the boat, ran around the back and um, ended up getting cut off on the propeller, which is the worst nightmare for any fishers because it's so easily prevented. If we did all over again, I think we just needed better communication. That's what it all came down to. You never want to lose a fish in the way that we did yesterday. When we think tuna, we usually think long slogs, deep water. I mean, we were fishing at 70 metres of water yesterday and this fish fought more like a marlin than a bluefin, it really did. It was around the boat, all zipping around the place. We had <laughs> no chance. Anyone that's ever lost a barrel, this fish yesterday I reckon would have been 120, my biggest ever fish. My heart goes out to you. Barrels come on. all around us we didn't get a touch so now we're probably gonna sleep in the car drive four hours and try somewhere else <laughs> it's the last ditch attempt Broken there. we've been doing this for like four days five days we've probably watched lures for 60 hours <laughs> and uh, we've had one fish and we lost it and just made makes, <laughs> makes it all even worse So we've been on the hunt for barrels for about three days now and still no love, but we've just found a bloke that's managed to do it. And what's your name and what's st sitting at our feet here? Uh, yeah, my name's uh, Andrew Westlake. And uh, we managed to get one yesterday, first time on a barrel, and uh, yesterday off Port Ferry. Uh, we managed one 114 kilos. So um, yeah, big smile today. Bit sore, but absolutely stoked. Well, and, uh, I hear it was a pretty long fight. What are we talking? 
Yeah, we got it mid-morning uh, hooked up and uh, it went on and uh, it was seven and a half hours, uh, 24 kilo gear and uh, I'll give it everything I could but uh, it, it just wasn't coming to us so it was a big day. We hooked our fish on a similar sort of lure to that and it was our last one. Yeah. We've been to every single tackle shop in the west coast of Victoria and can't find any more. How much for your lure? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about, uh, how about I lend it to you? Mate. Um, come up home after we finish this and uh, I'll give you the bag of the cooler lures that Peter rigged for me um, just a week ago and uh, you can mail them back to me when you're done. You've got a deal mate, I won't say no to that. <laughs> Cheers, no worries. <laughs>